It just so happens that more people watch our videos without a subscription than with it. Let's fix it. Subscribe to the channel by doing so you won't miss anything interesting about the Star Wars universe and we will be very very pleased by this. Your subscription is the best support for us. Thank you all in advance. Greetings to all Star Wars fans. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope you had a good time these holidays. Disney and Lucasfilm certainly had because there was no news from them about our beloved universe neither at the end of 2023 nor at the beginning of 2024. It's completely quiet, like a tumbleweed. Recently, Disney published a small announcement video on its channel with all their projects for January 2024 and among those there was nothing about Star Wars. Thus, we get the longest period of time without any TV series, movies or games in the last couple of years. A year and a half ago, there were at least approximate dates and at least we knew when and what to expect. But now, nothing. Almost nothing. After all, there is one piece of news that has ignited a real fire of hatred towards the 10th episode and especially towards its director, Shamin Obeid. This is of course a complete mess. So let's start with the New Jedi Order, which is also the name of the 10th episode. Filming will begin on April 7th, 2024. The actress of the role of Rey, Daisley Ridley, has already begun preparing for her part. However, the frustration among the fans has been actively growing about the person who stands behind this film in the last few weeks. I'm talking about the very Charmin Obeid, who has never made big films before and has only worked on documentaries with a clear political accent and on an outright scam called Miss Marvel. So recently, this very Charmin said something that made the bids of respect for her to fade and with it has strengthened the confidence in the complete failure of the 10th episode. She recently gave an interview on the feminist movement and the host asked her directly, are you going to promote the idea of feminism and destroy the ideas of patriarchy in the new Jedi Order? In simple terms, are you going to show that women are better than men in everything? To which she replied so aggressively, of course, I want to put men in an awkward position. I want to make them reconsider their views. I know they won't like it, but that's what I'm going to do. Whether you like the ideas of feminism or not, it doesn't matter. I will look into the eyes of men and say, I'm here and I'm going to convey to you what is causing you discomfort. And she ended everything with the words, it's time for a woman to change Star Wars. Time has come. Do you remember how I told you not to jump to conclusions about the project and only judge its quality after it was released? Forget it. Charmin Obeid has just buried the hope for the tiniest chance of success for the new Jedi Order. Just think about it. She really thinks she's the one who's going to revolutionize Star Wars. I used to think, who is she? Why was such an inexperienced and incompetent person put in charge of a huge and important episode aimed at bringing Star Wars back to the big screens? But now that she started talking, things got a lot worse. She should have kept her mouth quiet. And most importantly, I understand that my words may offend someone, but I do not pursue this goal. You just can't. Well, you can't make such statements and especially turn a huge project into another propaganda product when Disney and Lucasfilm are in a breaking or making point. Disney has long complained about their falling ratings and profits. Most of their extreme projects have failed in cinemas and Lucasfilm has just washed away the shame that haunts them after the release of the sequels. In addition, I will say a very rational thing. More than 80% of Star Wars fans are men and Shamin Obeid says that she specifically wants to embarrass men and make the male audience to respect females and their views. A simple question to this director, Madam, are you out of your effing mind? And I don't care about this statement, it doesn't offend me in any way. I'm scared for the universe. The New Jedi Order is a movie that already failed. No one believes in it and no one wants this project to see the light of day. However, instead of fixing it somehow, Shamin Obeid just took and hammered a huge nail into the coffin lid. In her opinion, was this statement supposed to increase the interest of fans or raise the profits of Disney and Lucasfilm? Is this how Disney and Lucasfilm are going to get out of trouble? This statement is real madness. It's just disgusting. Now a question for you, dear viewers. Tell me, when the director of a big project tells you, I will put you pathetic men in an awkward position and force you to respect me, what emotion do you have? 
instead of taking into account all the mistakes of the past, inviting a really good, experienced and universe-loving director, Disney invited the most incompetent person and even then the opinion about the new Jedi Order was 50-50. I was afraid what would happen to the film but at the same time there was hope that something normal might come out of it. Shamin Obeid also confirmed that Disney does not learn from any mistakes. The new Jedi Order is the project that is completely filled with propaganda aimed at destroying patriarchy and promoting feminism. Well Disney, do you already feel how the rating and profit are growing? Eh, this is really some kind of madness. I'm so offended that Star Wars, which has only recently embarked on the right path, is once again stepping in a pile of poodoo. And it's not even about Rey Palpatine Skywalker, nor about the female directors and heroes on the screen, but about the people who turn an artwork into a propaganda mouthpiece. Has the company not realized for several years that this does not bring any benefit? Absolutely everyone suffers from this, the company, the end user and the project itself. That's what really needs to be fought, to fight with this terrible tumor eating away the entertainment industry from the inside and not with men, women or children who want only one thing, to watch a good movie and get positive emotions. Well, I've said a lot of things already, it's time for you to speak out. The comments under the video are at your service. That's all for now, but as soon as there's more news on the new Star Wars projects, I'll get back to you right away. Thanks a lot for watching, see you soon.